one of the crudest but widely used and as a matter of fact widely understood academic protocol is flooding flooding is the process in which the packets are sent amok in a network expecting that one of the various and many packets shall be delivered to the destination in this module we are interested in simulating the effect of flooding as in the number of total packets sent and the number of total packets received through simulation for that we will first convince ourselves about the message complexity of flooding in general then we we'll look at the support that inet provides us with the references that i have chosen here are efficient probabilistic information broadcast over random geometric topologies energy efficient content based routing in iot or internet of things fair comparison of gossip algorithms over large scale random topologies something common between these three references is they all look at the variants of flooding if flooding is done in a brute force manner it tends to be uncontrollable and causes a storm in a network that is why each of these papers chooses a smart and relatively lightweight implementation of flooding since flooding is essentially a crude routing algorithm in which every incoming packet is sent on every outgoing interface of course except for the one at which it it arrived the complexity can be regarded as the total number of packets divided by the number of interfaces in omnet++ if you recall we went into significant and due detail for tiktok tutorial in tiktok 14 we looked at a scenario in which we were interested in capturing the number of messages that were either sent or received and that is what we can use to understand the overall load or the tax that flooding comes with let's look at tx14 c++ file here we declared the private member functions as two variables the number of packets sent as num sent which is a long variable and num received referring to the number of sent and number of received packets when we were initializing we initialized both of these to zero and we also started a watch method that measures or counts the total number of sent messages sent and received if we look at these two variables these are enough to determine the variants that we have seen as the references and determine which of these papers proposes the best flooding strategy which is ensuring that the packets reached at the desired destination and offer minimum load on a network 